Let's take this dingy underexposed shot and turn it into this bright, clean fashion look inside Resolve. I cannot tell you how much money I have made learning this particular look. Anybody and everybody wants a crisp look. People like to have clean skin tones. Regardless of your complexion, I don't know anybody that like to be underexposed or too yellow or too red. Before we jump in, if you enjoy watching content like this, then do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. And for those that don't know me, my name is Kazi. I've worked with brands like Adidas, Amazon Prime, Universal Studios, and I make no just straightforward color grading tutorials so you can work with your dream client. Clients. All right, so we're in Resolve and best part, I'm going to be giving you access to this footage so you can practice along. Link is going to be in the description. This was shot on Blackmagic. So we're converting it to DaVinci White Gamut, which is going to be our working color space. And then we're outputting it from DWG to Rec. 709. And then we have QT charts here and here. We're going to be building this entire look using Resolve's best look development tool. And if you want to download a free demo to practice with, link is also in the description. So I just want to give you a quick little overview before I jump into creating this look. So I'm calling it look chart and I'm calling it QC quality control chart. OK, so let's just call it chart instead of charts. So what's happening is this QT charts is broken into input monitoring and output monitoring. So input monitoring is used for look development. Output monitoring is used for QC. It'll make a lot more sense. Let's jump right in. I'm going to go under QC chart. I'm going to turn on false color, go in our balance, right click, change it to linear, and then kill the Luma mix. Changes in linear are very close to how our eyes see color and exposure. If you want to learn more, there's going to be a video in the description. So I'm just going to go ahead in my gain. I'm going to raise it up, keep raising it up to something like 3.5 ish. So if I do before and after looking way better, I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in DCTL. I'm going to drop on QT's look DNA. I'm going to scroll down, turn on Kodak 2383 in my preset and just look at how beautiful this looks. Let's turn this on. I'm going to go in my mid contrast Y and just crank it. Pull it back, keep it somewhere around here. This is looking pretty good. Now let's just go ahead and adjust our white balance. I'm going to go under gain and keep it somewhere around here. In this note, drop on sat control. The whole idea is to pull the saturation from the midtones a little bit just to kind of even everything out. And if I do before and after, this is looking way better. I'm going to go here, drop on another DCTL called Skin Compressor. I'm going to turn this on to show you what's happening. If I go back to Skin Compressor and take my compressed skin hue, just keep an eye on these two patches. Boom. Look at how we close the gap before, after. And now we can further close the gap by just bringing it a little bit around here. I'm going to go ahead, hide this. And now if I do before, yellow, gunky yellow, beautiful skin tones, and then this closes the gap. You can further see it in vector scope before see colors all over the place after I'm going to go back to look DNA. I'm going to go in my bleach bypass and crank it a little bit to just clean it up a little bit more. And uh, what happens if I take my highlight Y and crank it, open it up a little bit more. I just want to make sure that I don't crush anything. So I'm going to go back in my look DNA and pull it down to something like this. Another thing that I want to do is I want to go here go back in here and I want to clean up my highlights like right now they're too warm. So I'm going to bring the reds down in my whites and blue up to something like this and maybe green up to something like that. And this is looking a lot cleaner. And now let's take the white channel, crank it a little bit more. This to that, it's done. So I'm going to literally pause the timer here. But I want to show you one extracurricular thing that if you like to do, you can do it easily in here. I'm going to create a window. I'm going to put it right here to something like this and feather it like a mother. Literally type in 50 and now invert it. I'm going to go under my gamma and I'm just going to pull it down. The whole idea is I just want to separate her arm from the background. That's it. And now I want to just go back here, lift it up to something like this because we feathered it so much. It doesn't matter. You don't have to track it. Just leave it like that. Then move on to the next shot and just keep copy pasting this window and frame it on your subject, whatever it is. And that's it. And like, look at it just like adds a little bit more volume. 
Most important thing about it, you can go in your HDR palette, you can take your saturation and pull it back and keep an eye on your skin tones. And what that does is that the saturation and HDR palette is way more natural than in your primaries. Another thing that we can do is we can just take this and cool it off. Again, keep an eye on the skin tones. I just don't want the skin tones to get like too blue. And just look at this. So just like that, the vignette is serving three purposes, exposure, color, and then the saturation of our colors. So, I mean, this is making a pretty big difference. But again, even if you do it like this, this is a very cool look like a black pink look, it works totally fine. Quick recap, started by balancing our footage. Look DNA did most of the heavy lifting. Sat control cleaned everything up. Skin compressor brought everything together. I mean, you're seeing this is such a nuanced tool, but this is such an amateurish look until we do this. And then extracurricular if you want to. And that's it, we're done. If you're interested in Kazi's toolkit, you can save $50. This is for my YouTube fam only. Literally the coupon is called YT fam. Link is in the description. Check it out. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace fam. Oh, oh, oh.